Hi there! So I thought I'd just make a quick video on how to flash your ADXL345 or your um, S2DW from Big Tree Tech. Uh, they are exactly the same when it comes to flashing. There's no difference other than the actual sensor. So from what I can find, the difference is that the S2DW sensor is slightly more sensitive. Um, but in real-time actual use, I do not know. I have the um, S2DW version. I went through both of the 8XL345 um, and the S2DW uh, GitHub, and there is no change in how to flash these. So I'm just going to use the 8XL um, um, user manual and just show you quickly how to uh, flash these. So what we do is if you are on a Windows computer, you need to get something um, That lets you connect to your printer's Pi So I would recommend getting something like a uh, the like putty and In putty you simply enter your IP address to your Pi and you're good to go You'll boot right into your Pi uh, after typing your password uh, for me, I'm on a, a laptop that's running Linux, and it also has Clipper on it, because this is what I use to um, play around with my printers. So I can do this on my laptop, but uh, so there's no other changes to this. So the first thing we'll do is we'll need to enter into our Clipper uh, folder. So you should have Clipper installed for this. So we'll just do a change directory and Clipper. <clears throat> so now we'll type make menu config and now we just need to match up what's in this um, screenshot from uh, the, the manual <clears throat> so make sure to enable extra low level change your microcontroller to the uh, RP2040 and the rest should be where they are just make sure and we'll just press Q and yes to save and now um, you just need to, to type make this will give me an error but for you it'll um, create your firmware so as you see I have an error because I've already done this so now you have that file and you could put that directly onto this uh, but we'll just uh, do that with one simple command instead of having to copy and paste and open stuff so what we'll do is we'll connect this uh, but while connecting it there is a tiny little button on the side so you'll hold that down let me see if i can do this to actually show you we'll hold the button down and then we'll connect the um, accelerometer so you see this um, this uh, little LED right here and now we can release that button and just uh, put that away and make sure you don't short, short circuit it in on something uh, so because mine's already been made and I plugged it into my laptop I can see um, the actual storage on it so I'll just close that I don't need it now uh, we are already in the Clipper uh, folder so if you've um, opened a new win window make sure you go back into your Clipper folder by using that uh, CD Clipper and then simply type make space flash and then in all caps flash underscore device and then an equals and uh, this um, number right here shouldn't change unless you have uh, done this on other similar devices on the same setup so we'll just uh, enter the 2e8a so 2e8a colon 0003 and now we should be able to just hit uh, enter, type in our password for, for the device you're on. And there we go, we have flashed our uh, little um, accelerometer. 
And to, to make sure that it's actually been flashed, uh, you can type ls and slash dev slash serial slash by dash id another slash and then uh, you'll should see this rp2040 show up uh, if this uh, value of uh, that's in the documentation does not work for you you can uh, quickly um, find yours uh, by connecting your rp2040 with that with that um, boot button uh, pressed and just type ls um, usb in one word and you can see your device uh, in this list i should be able to see mine do i not yes here's my rp2040 so there you go um should be ready to um get your um input shaping done mount this however you want and um, I'll see you in the next video